All right, hey everybody. So I decided to take a walk around this beautiful uh, Monaco executive. Would have been made here in Coburg, Oregon. I touched base on it the other day when I was talking about uh, multiplex lighting and whatnot when I shot the uh, Magna right here. So I'll put a link below if you haven't seen the Magna. There's a video of it. I think it's still for sale. But we'll get back to this old Monaco here. Um, if I didn't buy a country coach, I'd buy a Monaco. I was actually looking at some older execs before I got my uh, Intrigue. But I just love the product. So we're going to run them down around it. We'll get started over here on the driver's side. And we'll take you around the passenger side here. Give you a little shot of it. Cover at the entry door here. You've got the lick grab handle with the keyless entry, just like you'd have on the country coach, except the country is going to be in the door. And here you're going to have it. You got the doorbell option too. Pretty neat little option. Got some nice tucked away curb lights in here. And then you've got slide room here above me. This first door is gonna be your fuel compartment, aqua hot bottle. Then the second bay, it's gonna be a full pass through cargo bay. Got some of the uh, fan inserts up here. I don't know if you've got a set of these, but if you're not using your fantastic fans and it's getting hot out, you shove these in there. Keep the heat down. I know I got a set in my motorhome. And then in this next compartment bay, number three, it's going to be full pass-through again. So you got two full pass-through bays with the Joey slide trays in there. And then this here is going to be your access to your aqua hot for servicing it in your fresh water tank and above that your gray and your black got this heat exchanger here so in case you're in cold climate plumbing bay won't freeze and then a nice big valve here to drain your fresh water here you're gonna have your house batteries and then your chassis battery. This coach has got the big Cummins 650 in it because it's going to be a 2009, one of the last production years. So that'll be the uh, engine. All right, so we made our way over here to the driver's front compartment right below the seat. It's gonna be just like most coaches, gonna be what we call your front run box. And then this compartment bay here, you're gonna have all the factory fuses for the chassis and a bunch for the house also. Your uh, VIP steering wheel module here on the left. There, you've got the generator slide out. This coach here is going to have the uh, 10K in it. It's a little dark. Sorry about that. And only 655 hours. But as I said, this coach is sold. But still nice to see. It's got pretty low hours on it for the guy that's getting it. And then we're going to make our way back here to the cargo base. This would be your second one. That first one's the fuel tank. Pass through. And then this next one is going to be passed through again so those are your cargo bays and then this is going to be your plumbing bay so you've got the macerator pump here if you wanted to use it or you can just hook the gravity hose up to it nice beautiful stainless steel bay here fire extinguisher it looks like out here in the plumbing bay 
power hose reel, power shore cord reel, black tank flush, a nice little monitor here in the bays to let you know what's going on. And then this is gonna be your access to your water manifold block. Sorry about that lighting. But back there in the back is gonna be your manifold block and your hose reel and your water filter. So that I think will give you pretty much a rundown on the outside of this. This coach here will have the fake awnings on this side. It's gonna have those power window awnings by Gerard on there, just like you had on the country coach. It's gonna have a nice big power toll window there at the seat. I've always liked the executives. It seems like the dash line is a little lower. It gives you some more visibility. Just a little different feel. I don't know if that's just me or what, but. So that's gonna be the outside. Let's take the inside here. Accent lighting on here in the ceiling. And I got the rope lights here. And the window box is going. I just wanted to show you that. And then this accent lighting in the sink. And then you've even got it here on the mirrors, which is really cool with a little bit here at the floor area also. So we'll show you that. Now I'm gonna make my way back to the master off button. Press and hold it for about 10 seconds. So this is a pretty cool floor plan. Nice big galley for being a 40 footer. You got the wine cooler over here on the left. Some more storage up here. Backlit for your coma cabinet or you could finish that off with some nice tandem and maybe put a shelf in there. Nice big cabinets up here. So you'll see a little bit of difference between the country coach. We use that white tandem carpet where Monaco used a real nice carpet also but they use more of a sunburst brand carpet. Kind of like a a car interior style, not really the texture. And then you've got storage here, aft, gonna be lined again, lined on the top. It's got this really cool backsplash. Comment below if you think I should do something like that in my coach with the multi layers and the accent lighting that's in there across the bottom. I was thinking about something like that, but see what you guys think. Then you've got uh, here in the galley, some more storage. Looks like with access from both sides into there. Got the light again, turns on and off. And then some nice pull outs right here below the cooktop. Another pull out and then a spot for maybe some deep things that you may want to put. And then you've got up here, gonna be your double propane cooktop and your sink. And then another large portion of sink also there. So pretty cool coach. I really like this countertop. Let me throw some more light on it so you can kind of see the way that glistens in there. Got some pretty cool pop. Pretty baller actually. So it's a really well done coach. You've got all this engraved woodwork here. Here across the top of the slides. So now we'll make our way up to this front corner of the driver's side where we've got the desk with the chair. Nice little worktop here. This flips up and down out of your way. Just got to flip those two pieces up. And then you've got the TV mounted here. And then some storage up above it. Again with the nice frosted inserts in the cabinet doors. Looks like it's got the central vac. So if you got any pets or anything, really easy to sweep that off into there. Thinking like that's not firing up right now, must just not be plugged in, but a cool option. You know, when these coaches were built, Country Coach and Monaco, the products they were building here were just setting the bar for what everybody else was building, in my personal opinion. I mean, there was a lot of nice coaches, but they just did very well at Country Coach and at Monaco. And uh, Monica was really a leader in floor plans and diversity.
but I'll let you get back to this walkthrough. So on this side here, we got big long seating area. This is gonna flip out to be sleeping. And then you've got this area and then you've got the Frigidaire refrigerator mounted here, directly across from your galley. And then up here in the front overheads, you got yourselves the, the audio video system. Looks like it's got a wine guard on it already and some Sony. And then up in this overhead, you're gonna have basically some house monitoring stuff. You've got your tank monitors, you've got your inverter display, your solar display, your short cord power monitoring, and then your local TV antenna controller. Then you've got another TV. So you've got two TVs in the front, one there, and then one up here. And then you've got some storage over here on the right and some storage over here on the left again. And then this here, the Monaco's is gonna be your main and inverted breaker panels above the driver's seat. A lot of times on the Monaco product, they end up putting that up here in the front. So that kind of covers it. You've got some more IntelliTech controls here to run some awnings and shades. And then this one over here on the right is gonna do the drive spurs and passenger slide rooms and then the lighting. So that kind of gives you a rundown of the front. Make our way back in here to the uh, vanity. As I said, it's got this cool accents. Some pretty decent storage here. Somebody looks like maybe, uh, could be factory, but some cool pieces of plexiglass here so stuff doesn't fall out at you. Got your floor heat control for your rear floor heat, your fantastic fan and your IntelliTech lighting controls there. And then this cool tiled backsplash with like I showed you earlier, that backlit sink. It's got the really cool shower here. It's got that same solid surface in there and then they've brought that tile from over here and brought it around into here. The only problem with the LED lights is that they don't last forever as much as somebody wants to tell you. Looks like we got a couple of those that we'll be replacing. We'll make our way into the toilet room here. We've got the Tecma Tur Grinder toilet and then some IntelliTech controls here and then your fantastic fan here. Looks like you get that same accent light in the mirror but not in the sink but you get that same tile backsplash. Really cool colors. Brought that same solid surface down here to the base reason why most coaches have that is there's some plumbing and wiring hidden in there. And then you've got it across the back here. It's a pretty cool looking toilet room. I like the wallpaper. And now here we are in the master bedroom with some storage on the left and the right. So the TV, and then if you don't want to see the TV, you've got a couple uh, bifold doors here that close some sort of way. Doesn't look like there's a switch for those, but comment below if you know how those open and close because I don't know exactly. So we got some storage here at the rear, and then we've got some storage here at the forward sides. Got the sharp TV in there, got the spot for uh, your audio video, your DVD player, and then some nice drawers here. All the way down, I'm going to have these, so you'll have a total of nine of those drawers, which is really nice in there. And then back here in this back corner, looks like we've got the stack Maytag washer dryer. Do not use on a 30 amp service because it won't operate. Got to have the 220 because it's 220 element in it. And then back here in the closet. Nice little pocket here in the very back with some shelves, another shelf across the top, spot to put some folding chairs. Think off to the left here, this is gonna be the access to be able to get to all the plumbing and electrical connections. Washer dryer. Come over here to the driver's side. Got the safe mounted here on the floor. 
And then this cabinet here is going to be where all the Intellitech lighting output and input modules all are. The only thing that's not going to be there is some awning control modules that are tucked away in the front overhead. Monaco pretty much put all the Intellitech modules in one location. Unlike Country Coach where they spread them out to save the wire. But I think uh, Monaco just did that to keep it kind of more simple for the techs. Got a little storage here on the sides. You can do all your lights here. You've got that master off again, the bedroom overheads, the sconce light right there. And then come over to the other side. Looks like you've got your camera view controller. And then you've got some gen controls. The inverter on and off. Entry door lock and unlock. And then the light controls here. So it's a beautiful coach. It's got the ceiling fan. A lot of people like those. Really helps do a nice little breeze. Keep air circulating. Especially in the hotter climates. And then this is where those pieces that were in the bay, they just slide right in there and then it keeps all the heat from radiating down. So that's kind of the gist on those fantastic fan inserts that were in the bay. Got a nice large tiles. on back and you've got that same ceiling treatment with all the rope lights and everything in the bedroom so i hope you enjoyed this uh little walkthrough i did of the monaco product like i said i worked at monaco when i was pretty young back in the early 90s before they moved to colberg but when i went and worked for a rv dealer here in junction city i put lots of times in on the monaco's learned all the locations of where all the hidden components and so on and so forth are mounted. I've always loved the Monaco products. Like I said, when I was walking on the outside of it there is that I was looking at a Monaco exec when I got my intrigue. But I hope everybody's enjoying these videos. I wish this thing was still for sale. I know a guy that didn't take a deal because he was about 15 grand off. Wish that he would have taken that deal because diesel pushers are going right now and he's on the list if this one doesn't go through. But I think uh, the money is deposits already here on this one but you can always check premier's uh, inventory if you're looking for something maybe they've got a fresh arrival that's just right for you but thanks again everybody i hope you're liking the channel hit those comments up below let me know what you think of the videos and what you think of the monacos and uh, i'm going to try to find some more of these to get you some more footage because like i said i am fond of the monacos so thanks again everybody hope you're all like i said having a great day i know i am Bye-bye.